Welcome back to NSUSpartans.com. Matt Mihalik coming to you from Dick Price Stadium as the Spartan football team had its second preseason inter-squad scrimmage here tonight, capping off the FanFest activities here on campus and uh, chatting with one of the standouts from the scrimmage. Uh, from the offensive side, uh, redshirt freshman receiver George Wahi joining us. George, uh, thanks for joining us here today. Uh, you got things started off nicely there with that touchdown grab on the first drive of the uh, of the scrimmage. Tell us a little bit about that play, how that, how that uh, whole situation unfolded. Um, well, I believe it was third down and um, was on the goal line there, and I had a, um, a Denver route, and Greg did a good job finding me in the um, end zone. We got the right depth on the route, and he believed in me, threw me the ball, and I scored. Had a little bit of contact on the on the play there uh, as well. I believe it was Swan who was on, on your side. Had good coverage on you. He got, got the flag. You still uh, had the catch anyway. Um, tell us about how hard that was to, to kind of finish that play through the contact, and especially a third and long type play. Obviously, a lot of pressure uh, riding on your shoulders on that play. Uh, well, it was kind of hard because he was um, trying to get the ball out there on um, third and long, but I had to hold it tight and get in the end zone because the offense believed in me to make big plays, and that's what, I'm, that's what I did. Obviously, this is uh, your first, heading into your first season, you redshirted mm -hmm. last year. Uh, obviously, we lost a few guys from the receiver core last year. You're stepping right in, uh, running with the first team offense right now. Uh, how has that transition gone for you, going from your redshirt season now to finally getting able to, to get out here on the field? Yeah, um, well, I think springtime helped me a lot spring ball helped me um through like the progression learn the offensive stuff in the summertime greg got me and we um just worked all summer on routes and the offensive playbook and stuff so i think it was um it was an easy progression because spring is summertime it looked like he was he's definitely been looking for you a lot a couple of third downs you guys were able to convert how how have you been able to to kind of get the confidence of of your senior quarterback mm -hmm. uh, this early in your career it seems like yeah you're one of his his go-to guys here early well, um, like I said, it um it started back in the spring. You know, me and Greg became closer. You know, just hanging out in our free time. You know, getting something to eat, um, just studying the playbook, doing routes every day. So he kind of got the confidence in me over the summer and spring. Well, George, we're through training camp now. Uh, still two weeks to go, though, before uh, the first game against Elizabeth City. Mm -hmm. What are some things that that you want to see the team work on over these next two weeks before the season kicks off? Um, I just want to see us be consistent on both sides of the ball. You know, just move the ball. Um, with good motion and defense get stops and then if we do that we will do good things this year. All right George we're looking for uh, big things from you as well this year congratulations on a good start to training camp and we'll chat with you again uh, down the road. Thank you. Continuing along with our post scrimmage interviews here tonight we're joined now by redshirt junior Jonathan Okafor from the Spartan defense came up with a number of key plays here for his unit tonight. Uh, Jonathan thanks for joining us here uh, on NSUSpartans.com. Uh, we talked with George Wahi a little earlier uh, from the, the offensive standpoint. They got off to a pretty good start, a couple scores on the first couple possessions, but it seemed like the defense buckled down pretty well after that. Well, we just got to stop them from scoring. I mean, gave up too many yards at first, but we buckled down when they gave toward the goal line, got a couple stops, stopping the run, key. Just got to stick to our keys, stay in the playbook, watch some film, make some corrections, and we'll keep rolling. Uh, you're moving to a bit of a new position uh, here this year, a uh, defensive end in our, in our new 4-3 defense. Played a little outside linebacker in the past, and I know uh, certainly you played some defensive end in the past as well when you were in high school, but how is that uh, that transition g going for you more to, to a full-time down lineman type of position? Well, I mean, the responsibilities, I mean, they're still basically the same. The only difference is my hand is in the ground. I mean, they stay, stay, <clears throat> stick to our same keys, same reads, same area, just different position, hand in the ground, same stuff. Where do you think are some areas uh, where you've improved over the course of uh, these last couple of years starting to, to move up now and, and, and looking to, to make some big plays for the defense this year? Definitely um, stopping the run. I mean, of course, there's still room for improvement. I mean, I personally need to recruit like my pass rush. But throughout the summer, coaches helped us get better, working on our keys, helping the defense to get aligned right, get some consistent pass rush so we can make some plays in the future. And tell us a little bit about uh, how this new look defensive line is coming together. You came in and made a number of plays tonight, but it seemed like uh, whether it was you in there at end or whether it's uh, any number of guys that really could step in and make the play from the end positions or from the tackles. Well, I mean, we have a number of guys that can make plays on the defense. Um, we have a couple guys, returners last year, um, myself as well. We just continue to be out there, stay in the playbook, make some plays, and ready to roll come September 3rd. It's only two weeks away. We're looking forward to, to seeing how it shakes out. John, thanks for joining us here, and we'll chat with you again down the line here on NSUSpartans.com. All right, thank you. And continuing along on our post-scrimmage report here from Dick Price Stadium, Matt Mahalik joined now by head football coach Latrell Scott. Coach, uh, another spirited uh, scrimmage. We saw a lot of good plays from the offense and the defense. I know you like to see that give and take, and uh, we saw more of it here this evening. Well, I think the first thing I'd like to comment on, Matt, were the fans. Uh, we, we had a great crowd 
for a Saturday night scrimmage, and uh, I thought the kids played hard and they played well, and they gave the people that came out to see uh, something to be excited about. But uh, lots of give and take on both sides of the ball. It's the second week in a row that the offense has come out and taken the first drive down to score. Uh, you know, the defense, you know, gave up some long drives but didn't give up touchdowns. They only gave up field goals. Uh, you know, we had the overtime period where we thought Greg and the, the guys on offense made some great plays. So a lot of give and take on both sides. Uh, clean scrimmage, very few penalties, uh, not a lot of turnovers, if any. Uh, so obviously we'll come back and watch the tape tomorrow. But, you know, today I feel pretty good about it, but who knows how to look tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, that first drive, certainly a thing of beauty. Uh, really got the ground game going with, with both Chung and Hankerson there. And then Greg on the third and long pass, a great completion to Wahi. That was just a solid play all the way around. Well, you know, those guys are playing very well. Uh, you know, Greg adds a dimension with his feet. But when you have Quintrell, Chung running the ball, and Gerard Johnson running the ball, and, and the wideouts making plays, it helps. And I think Demetrius Farabee's probably got four touchdowns in two games. And, uh, you know, Demetrius has become a great weapon for us. Yeah, your tight end position certainly looking good in camp. Uh, Torian Henderson also with a, a red zone grab for you there late in the scrimmage. Was that a point of emphasis for you coming into the season, was trying to get your tight ends a little more involved? Well, no question about it. Uh, sometimes last year we, we probably formation those guys out of some things, and uh, they're both two talented football players, and they give you the ability to, to, uh, to run it and, and throw it to them. Uh, you know, tight ends are kind of dinosaurs in college football today, and, and we're glad to have two. Defensively, a number of guys uh, stepped up and made some plays. Uh, some guys from your uh, from your second and third units also made a few plays. We talked to Jonathan Okafor earlier. Uh, he, ma he made a few uh, tackles behind the line of scrimmage tonight. Seems like still a lot of competition for those spots on defense. The defensive line, I'm telling you, they're, they're rolling eight people. <laughs> so it's almost uh, two sets of ones. And, you know, you have Jonathan making plays. You have Terrell Reed making plays. You know, we got some snaps out of Kevin Williams tonight. So uh, the defensive line is, is, is very deep, and it, it's the strength of our defense. But you, know, you have kids like Kyle Archie, you know, making plays in the middle, Sandy Chapman making plays in the secondary. So uh, we have playmakers at all three levels, and we've just got to continue to, 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 to improve. Well, your training camp is essentially over at this point now. The guys start classes this week. Still two weeks, though, uh, to go before Elizabeth City. What are some things you want to get done, and, and what's your focus really heading in to this next two weeks? Well, we'll give the guys off Sunday and Monday, and we'll come back on Tuesday, and we'll clean up some things uh, in regards to, Nor to Norfolk State. And uh, by Thursday, you know, we'll be focusing on Elizabeth City. So uh, our, our next Saturday scrimmage will be part Elizabeth City, part Norfolk State. And uh, obviously going into game week, uh, you know, we'll, we'll move fully into them and we'll be ready to go by the time they get here. All right, Coach, well, we're looking forward to seeing the last scrimmage next week. Uh, hopefully another good turnout next Saturday. It certainly looks like the fans are getting excited about Spartan football just two weeks away. No question. Again, I just have to comment on it and be thankful for it. To have all those people come out for a Sunday night scrimmage is, uh, is a thing of beauty. And, and uh, we hope that we can triple the, uh, the attendance for the Elizabeth City game. All right, Coach, well, congratulations on another good scrimmage. We'll chat with you again down the road. All right, thanks, Matt. Once again, that's head coach Latrell Scott. Just two weeks remaining until kickoff of the 2016 season right back here at Dick Price Stadium on September the 3rd, 2 p.m. against Elizabeth City State. We'll talk to you again down the road right here on NSUSpartans.com.